The Casual Heroes proudly presents to you the gamer that redefined what a gamer is. The man, the myth, the legend, Shroud. Huh? What do you mean? Shroud doesn't stream for the Casual Heroes? Well, who is streaming? Jin's aside? Is that a play on words for genocide? Dang. How the hell do you even say that? Uh, anyway, well, I have the wrong script, I think. Let me find it. Let's see here. Here it is. Uh, <clears throat> Jin's aside, a.k.a. Jin's, is someone who needs no introduction. And yet we're still doing one. Ninja was quoted as saying, I have no idea who that is. Shroud said of Jin's, who? Team Liquid denied he was ever a part of the organization, and his mom said, he's the best son in the world. That's an actual quote. So welcome to the stream. It's dangerous to go alone, so join Jens on his journey, because this dude has zero friends. Like none. Like he... And that's enough. Oh, well. Let's start the show. Damn, I like my drumming. You like my drumming? That was some awesome drumming, wasn't it? I felt so. I felt like it was awesome drumming. Thank you. Thank you. Fate Hunters. Here we go. So, um, I'll be honest. I, uh, look here. Let's bring the volume down. Um, full disclosure, I got the key for free, but no. So it's a free game, but not sponsored. Or else it would say, hashtag sponsored. Because I have to say that. But I, I did get the key free. So... I mean, I'm under no obligation to say anything, really. So, let's see here. We've got, from what they said, this is like Slay the Spire. It's a card game based RPG. So, we'll see. Uh, Fanatic Warder, endowed with divine power of healing and destruction. If you play this card when you have no cards in your hand, Additional effect, okay. Arcanist. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, okay. So it looks like I have to buy that. So it looks like we're starting here. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, so card is already in supply. So my skills, I can't change. Only supply cards are allowed to be changed. Okay, so I guess I just start. Um, Okay, I really one day need to move this mic because it is technically, well, let me see if I can get into the, see, see, there, ah, so the mic is on this side, 
And really, it should be there, but not hanging down in front of the camera. Uh, Terry, did you enjoy your birthday? It was a good one. It, it was a good one, is what she said. She is 29 for the 11th time. So I'm just going to click start. Okay. Tutorial. Here we go. In order to pass this room, you need to destroy all monsters. You can play any number of cards during one turn. All cards that you haven't played will be discarded at the end. You will draw five new. There are monsters in the room. They will attack your character. Okay. Character gains turns when you level out. Because plus one out of three skills. Okay. Uh, defeats being lost, quest the best skill. Remember, if you die, you will have to start all over again. You lose all your gold skills and items. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. So we got a dire wolf and a goblin. This is a 2-3. This is a 2-4. I've got deal two damage and to a creature and draw a card reduce all attacks by a creature by one Oops, draw one the other one on top of the pile deal one damage to a creature so all right All right, now we're down to the dire wolf. All right, now he's only gonna do one damage. Let's look at the top of my deck here. Deal two damage to a creature. There we go. And I believe it says it's discarded, but I don't have anything to heal, so. Okay. So, we are going to see if my health stays, like in the next round, or if it resets. So here we go. Go with the bond terror. Okay, next room. I do stay the same health. Okay. So we can punch, punch, and then all right. Choose a card and add it to your discard pile. You can choose a number of cards. Jill. That only has one use. Discard pause effect does not work if you discard a card at the end of the turn. Enchanted.
I'll take another potion. I can take both? Okay. I know in Slay the Spire you don't want to take all the cards, but I don't know that yet. So, looks like we're getting ready to... Oh, no, we reset our deck. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and use the healing herbs. Alright. Alright, do I have the... I do not. But I can deal two... See, I can banish that, so that would be gone. Uh, all right, hold on. But two, okay. So, punch, punch, draw a card punch and because this is the last one it has last word banished and in turn okay so we will restore my HP we will deal two damage Okay, discard that to the discard pile, or none at all. Okay, one use, choose a non-boss creature and swap its attack with its health. Deal two damage to a creature and one to the adjacent ones. Ancient treasure, five, deal one to two damage. I mean, I don't know why I would, I know why I wouldn't want the cards, in theory because you get too many cards and you don't have the good ones after you run through you takes too long but this um yeah but at this point in time i'm just taking cards because i don't know what i'm doing Okay, so we're at a branching path. Easy room, I mean, who wants to go there? So let's go. Okay. All right, so that is two, three, five, and then 18, then random. Okay, so To a creature, discard the top two cards. I swear, discard the next uh, sanctuary, restore two HP this turn. Last word is always active. Uh, draw a card, you lose one HP. Last word, draw two cards. Uh, what game are you streaming? Uh, it is called Fate Hunters. When discarding this card on turn, a positive effect. Okay, this was the hard room. Deal four damage. That's nice. Restore two health. Exile all wound cards from your deck. Yeah, but we just started. Deal one damage to a creature. All right. And adjacent ones. I don't want that. Okay. Next room. Normal room. 
I guess we're still level one, technically. Uh, switched all right when you add three daggers to your hand all right boss oh easy now So at the start of his turn, he's going to spawn two random creatures each time. Boy, this music got epic, didn't it? Man. Last word is always activated. That's what I want. I could end this right now. All right, so we got last word always activated now. We're gonna hold on to this if we can. Okay, so I got rid of that guy. We're not going to be able to. Because this goblin wand won't work. So, we're going to... Alright. Oh, it got it. I'm going to have to use all of those so I can... All non-boss creatures, okay. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That's eleven damage. That is seven. Okay. If I could have one-shot him, I would have one-shot him, but... Alright, that's four, seven, eight, nine. It's 
not enough. <sighs> not enough. Oh, no. Well, we're about to see if he summons two more. Hey. He did. But I think I can one shot him now. Two, four, five, six. If I get a two out of that. Crap, they're staying? Choose a free card. I have five fate points. A heroic skill card. Delve a legendary item card. Exile a card from your deck. Cost two, restore full HP. Cost three, increase your max P by two. Cost three, exile all treasure cards from your deck. You get gold from them. So I'm interested in this passive ability thing. And so I can do the passive and I can heal. Let's try that. So let's restore health. Okay. And let's look at this passive ability. So death. Every time a weapon card deals damage, you get a token. When you get 10 tokens, they are removed and you deal two damage to all creatures. Play with the top of your deck of your library revealed. Okay, when you play a potion card, draw a card. I like to carry those potion cards, but I do have a lot of weapon card damage too. But that's 10 cards of weapon card damage to just deal two damage. And this I would get an extra card. here 
Let's go forth. Because I wouldn't have healed if I wasn't going to go forth. Alright. Let's check a Twitter there. So, Goblin Knight. Goblin Shaman. So... Okay, so all right, so three, five, maybe four or five. That'd be awesome. See what we get. We did get a three. Okay. Now, I could do this, the end of your turn, deal one damage to your hero. Curse, one use. So he's going to do two damage to me. I want to see how this works here. Okay. Endurance. And tune. So four health. Oh, four damage. Okay, so three is the amount of HP you've lost this turn. I haven't lost any HP this turn. Oh, this sucks. I can get rid of her for sure. I can't get rid of him. So. One, two, no. Two, daggone it. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, yes. So, all we need to do is get rid of all these cards. So, there we go. <clears throat> One use treasure five, draw two cards. It's all wound cards. All right, cool, because I got a wound card in my deck. All right, whenever this creature attacks, exile the top card from the draw pile. Regeneration, critical strike. Uh, 
So I can get rid of one of them. I can get rid of both of those. What? I didn't take any damage. Oh. At least it got rid of punch. Okay, it's a punch. Alright, deal two damage, draw a card. Alright, I am level five. A drum rush. Draw a card from for each missing HP, then discard two. Nice. Ooh, restore eight HP. It's a lot. I think that's my old, you know, crap button. It's going on YouTube. Okay. Oh, well, I've got that one thing that gets rid of wound cards, so. Okay. That thing's got critical strike. More potion cards. Mystery room. Upgrade your non-legendary weapon. Okay. Um. So I can only upgrade. Oh. But if I finish the dungeon, I get... Ooh, I could upgrade this. Oh, I had to offer it something. That was the wrong thing to offer. They didn't tell me I had to do an offering. That was... That was not what I wanted to do. That was a terrible idea. It's what you get in blind play, though. Okay. These wounds are starting to stack up. Um, all right, so... Whenever this creature attacks, add a curse card to the draw pile. So we need to get rid of that. So that. <sighs> that thing, ethereal, always oh, decreased. Ah. All right, how about my old crap button? Oh, 
they got regeneration. So two, two can kill one. Whoa. Don't need more daggers. Deal five damage to a creature. Draw fewer card next turn. We got a big deck right now. I think too much. Endurance. Cannot be stunned and attack cannot be reduced. Okay. Well, this, this is not good. Okay, so we got rid of our wound cards. Oh. <laughs> uh. We'll take the loot bag, take the enlightenment potion. That was a good one. card fortune teller so I need to get rid of the cursed cards and see so yeah, what I'm what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the dungeon at level two and see how much gold I have. See if I can unlock the other. So. What we can do is we can, because I, I think you keep your deck as you go on. I don't. Okay, I don't see any. Oh, there's one. Curse. Uh, let's see here. Divine Terror. Uh. 
Alright, I think that was it. So, no. I've got to discard it? Okay. I only got 67 gold. Daggone it. Because you need 100 to unlock the Arcanist. Escape. 90 gold. We can unlock it. Boom. Arcanist. Yay. This is the Arcanist. I believe there are four classes. As a matter of fact, let me check. Um... Yes, there are four. I'm almost positive. We'll check after this. Deal one to five damage. All right, so there we go. I'm not going to get this guy dead. Dag on it. Okay. Um, just in case. All right. Battle badge. If you have played a weapon card this turn, gain a shield. Deal one damage to the creature, deal X amount of damage for each magic missile in your deck. To your social draw pile and put that card into your hand, then shuffle the draw pile. Battle Mage. Oh, she only has 15 health, too. Two healing potions already. Oh. Extra room. Okay, we got two fireballs. That was a huge fireball. Shield. I plan on keeping a small deck with her, I think.
Mind me, I grab another healing potion whenever we have it. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Hard room. Four zombies. See if we can get rid of one. Yep, we did. Cool. Alright, I need a crit. I need a crit. They can get one. Can I have double shield? No, I can't have double shield. Okay. Deal two to three damage creature. Draw all molten lances. So you need to go molten lances if you're going to do that. All right. Restore two HP. Shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile. If you have played five cards or fewer this turn, draw three additional next. Deal two damage to a creature if you played a whip. And deal five damage instead. These molten lances might be neat. Try them. Okay, so... He's just going to regen it. But I only take one damage. Okay. Fireball. Oh, that's huge. Okay. That's GG. Loot bag. I will take Enchanted. Restore 4 HP. You can't play this card from your hand. Okay. Does not work if you discard. Okay. Um, sure. Try it. Okay. So. This could be. Oh, that sucked. So, we'll just do that. And we'll do that. And I'll Okay, don't need another healing yet. We'll take though the potions and the loot bag. Because they're only one use. So here's the first boss. Oh, uh, this is whenever this creature takes damage, you lose HP. Okay. So... Alright, that was a good one. Alright, it's not worth the... Gosh, we are going to take a ton of damage. I should have gotten rid of the other ones. That was a mistake. May as well do this and restore my HP. Okay. Because we're about to take a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. Two damage. That creature is in the room, Bill. Oh.
Why did my bone ring not work? Okay. Let's go with the passives. I like the passives. You always draw exactly five cards. Uh, increase your Okay. If you don't play a weapon card during a turn, draw one more card. If you don't play a skill during a turn, at the end of your turn, restore two HP. I like crits. Go forth. I mean, this is gonna work. What? Okay. Okay, one use, gain a shield. We'll take it. Okay. 
two to eight. Six, then two. Gosh, but those things deal four damage a piece. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's put it back to twelve. Yay. Exchange treasures for items. Okay, well, there you go. I do. What do we have in our deck that I would like a copy of? Scalding sign is good. Molten Lance, because if I. Yeah. Duelist is good. Huh. That's six damage. Mirror. Dude, that dude just got owned. Ah. I think I keep, uh, no, we'll just do that. I want to try this throwing axe really bad. Blacksmith. I don't have gold. So, yeah. Oh, I could have two throwing axes? Yeah. Oh, 
All right, dragon. <laughs> That's going to be six damage for sure because I'm always going to have the throwing axes in. Ah, we'll go with that. Yeah. All right, so we got our full five points because we don't need to heal. So we can either delve for a heroic skill card or we can... Okay. This is a good card, by the way. Deal two damage to each creature and two damage for each sword in your deck. That doesn't help me. This thing is awesome. No more magic. I kind of like the magic. So we're not going to do that. We're going to take that duels card because that thing is awesome. Go forth. strike five damage all right duplicate one use choose one choose a non heroic card from your hand and add two copies of it in the draw pile choose non-legendary card by hand and add three copies of it in the draw pile no let's see here search the draw pile for a card and put it in your hand and show i'm going to flame strike Add a loot bag to your hand when it dies, okay? You know, I said I was going to keep the deck little, and I did not. Because there were so many cool cards. Alright, so... We can get rid of these two.
Oh, wrong one. That gone. No, I did not want to do that. Ah. Oh my. See, why does that bone thing not work? Restore 4 HP. You can't play this card from your hand. When discarding this card on your turn, apply its effect. Does not work if you discarded a card at the end of the turn. Uh, have you saw... I, I don't know why that's not working. Explosion potion... I don't know. Exchange treasure for items. So there you go. There's treasure. I like that energy potion. Okay, so Okay, mystery room. Well, that was fun. Uh, oh, that is it, folks. That is seven. I am going to die. Dag on it. Dang it. All right, so there's the raider who looks like a rogue, a berserker who looks like a warrior, and a spy. Who knows? All right. Okay. That is the Inquisitor and the Arcanist. Um, this actually, this game is actually pretty good. Uh, I was, I'm surprised it is a lot like Slay the Spire um, but uh, yeah I mean I'd be interested to unlock the rest of the classes and um, 
you know, just to see how uh, use skills of other characters. That's interesting. Just see how, you know, it uh, works out and everything and plays at the end game. But, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It is $14.99 on Steam. Uh, once again, full disclosure, I did get this game for free. But if you liked what you saw, you are more than welcome. The link, if you're watching this on YouTube, will be in the description below to the game. Um, if you're watching on VOD, I think I can put a description for those, which would be maybe have a link in it. If not, go to my YouTube, youtube.com slash TV, um, and you'll see the video there. It'll be up here pretty soon. I just got to edit it and all that stuff. So thank you for coming out. Um, like I say, $14.99, pretty good game. And thank you, Starfazer, for hanging out with me. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys next time which will be with days gone again so till then bye bye hey everybody thanks for watching and hanging out with the stream i really appreciate everybody who followed subbed tipped gave bits or just even said hi make sure to follow us on twitter at Genza side to get updates on the stream turn on those notifications for twitch when we go live so you don't miss a stream if you're watching on vod or over on youtube mixer or facebook we appreciate you also being here you can check out the merch and contact us over at the website at genzoside.tv. There's no stream without you all, and we appreciate you coming on an adventure tonight. If you have Amazon Prime, don't forget you can sub to the channel for free. If you just joined the Wolf Pack and want to stay in touch with the community, make sure to join the Discord. And finally, if you like the warm, soothing tone of my voice, you can check me out on Fiverr at fiverr.com slash your imaging guy and see my handsome face for now i'll leave you with this a wolf pack is a family and you're invited no matter who you are oh.